The world demands energy, more and more, every day. Where will it come from? How can we do it? Who will make dream into reality? As highlighted by the desperate astronaut, the crisis of increasing global demand for energy necessitates decisive action. I stand before you today to reaffirm our commitment that by 2035, solar energy will constitute 40% of the United States energy. To reach our goal of 95% grid decarbonation by 2035, we must initiate the installation of 30 gigawatts of alternating current of solar capacity annually through 2025, with an escalation to 60 GWAC per year from 2025 to 2030. In Chinese, the word crisis is written with two characters, one for danger and one for opportunity. 40% solar by 2035, that's a lot of solar panels. And solar panel installation is no easy task. It can take days of labor intensive work. That's because solar panels are heavy. They also require precise wiring skills. And their proper placement is crucial. However, technological innovation may have the answer. Coming up, I'll share with you an innovative automatic solar robot from AES named Maximo that you won't want to miss. But first, it's time for our premier product highlight, sponsored by Mauser Electronics. Banner Engineering S15J inline fuses excel in protecting devices from overcurrent. These fuses feature a 3 amp current rating, support a 12 volts DC to 30 volts DC voltage range, and operate across a broad temperature range. They feature a rugged, over-molded design meeting strict standards. The M12 connection enables easy circuit installation, while LEDs indicate fuse status, displaying whether it's healthy or blown. The Banner Engineering S15J inline fuses also serve as an alternative for products needing a Class 2 power supply. Check them out today at Mauser.com. To paraphrase John F. Kennedy Jr., the human mind is a nation's fundamental resource. In this spirit, we bring you David's Corner. Thanks, Andy. One of the biggest questions about supplying power to your equipment is how do you know if the power coming in is clean or dirty? And usually what we mean by clean or dirty is how stable it is. If it's DC electricity, then that means how smooth is that DC waveform. If it blinks out every now and then, that can be catastrophic for your equipment. For AC voltage, what that can mean is, are there spikes? Are there other parts of your facility, large motors that are putting stuff back into the system that can create spikes or drops in voltage, which can be harmful to other parts of your system as well? Well, they've thought of this and come up with some solutions, and one of the most convenient ones that's often integrated in the equipment so we don't see it standing out at us is called the input filter, or a line filter. Now, in this case, a line filter, the small silver container, has printed on the front of it what looks like a fairly complex schematic, at least to some control engineers. It's a combination of inductors and capacitors and resistors that all together form what's called an RLC filter. Now these filters are great because they can prevent the passage of very low frequency signals, which are too low to be considered that 60 Hz AC voltage, but they can also filter out the very high frequency voltages. Those things that might be caused by high frequency equipment running, like a VFD. So if they only pass through the middle, not too high, not too low, we call that a band pass filter and the components are chosen very specifically to be able to accept any kind of dirty electricity and output a nice, clean 60 Hertz alternating waveform just the way we want to see it. Sometimes these line filters are built into the line feed where we might plug the plug into a com the back of a computer to ensure that, again, we're supplying what's very clean electricity into all of our really sensitive devices. If you ever run across a device like this, 
It may not be absolutely necessary for the operation of the equipment if your electricity supply is clean, but we shouldn't just avoid these and assume that everything coming in is just fine and we can't risk harm to our equipment. So it's a great idea to include these devices into the system as the very first entry point of electrical supply to ensure that all of the downstream devices are supplied with the best electricity that you can possibly manage. Andy, back to you. The heavy weight of solar panels poses logistical challenges. AES has created Maximo, an AI-powered system that utilizes computer vision to precisely position and connect solar modules, minimizing manual labor and improving safety. The system's continuous machine learning optimizes installation and in varying light conditions, using proprietary AI to handle glare and other challenges. And the expeditious robot doesn't just speed up production in the fields, AES claims that Maximo accelerates project timelines and creates new high-tech jobs, providing opportunities for technicians to develop valuable AI skills. The Herculean panel placer is already slinging solar in the fields of California on a project for Amazon. And you know if Amazon's got your back, your outlook is as bright as a blazon. But why some say the moon? Why choose this as our goal? And they may well ask, why climb the highest mountain? Why 35 years ago, fly the Atlantic? Why does Rice play Texas? We choose to go to the moon. We choose to go to the moon. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other thing. Not because they are easy, but because they are hard. <laughs>